We're here today to talk about shoulders. I've had a lot of comments from people asking me to do more about how to improve shoulder mobility and strengthen our shoulders and make them more flexible so that we can do more of the things that we want to do. In this video, I'm going to show you how. For this workout, you're going to need a set of light dumbbells and if the dumbbells that you have are too heavy, you can always fill two small water bottles and use those as well. They become about a pound and a half to two pounds depending on the size. So grab those things and let's get right into our workout. First thing I want to say is that the muscles in our shoulders, some of them are very small and they tend to not get used a lot. So when you're doing a shoulder workout or anything that involves using your shoulders, you always want to warm up first and warm up gently. So we're going to start without our weight, just putting our hands together in a fist feet about shoulder distance apart, posture good, standing up, and we're just going to circle our fists around our head like a halo. We're going to go five times in one direction, change it up, and five times in the other direction. Now you notice I'm going pretty far back. If you don't have that range of motion yet, Use the range of motion that you do have. That was five. Now we're going to pick up one of our dumbbells or water bottle, whatever it is you have, and we're going to repeat that exercise. So we're going to go five halos in one direction. This adds a little more resistance. Stop, and five halos in the other direction. Try not to sway your body. We're trying to work our shoulders and upper back. I know sometimes it's hard not to. Okay, for the next movement, we're first going to do it without the weight. So put your weight down. And this movement, make a fist, you're going to come down to your opposite hip and we're looking straight ahead and up to a W. And as you come into that W, if you can, pull it slightly behind your head. If not, that's okay. Just use the range of motion that you have. And again, we're going to do five each side. This gets in a little cross body work as well. Switching it up, make a fist with the other hand from the hip to slightly behind. Notice my elbow is bent the entire time. We're working on the rotation in our shoulder joint right now. Picking up our weight, we're going to repeat that with the weight, again from the hip, up, and slightly behind if you can. And one more time the other side. Notice I'm looking straight ahead. I'm making sure that my neck is not arched. We don't want to engage the neck. We're working the shoulders and upper back. Okay. 
Now that we're nice and warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and get into the workout. First, I'm going to show you these movements without the weights. So, with a hammer, position with our hands, we're gonna do a front raise, then a side raise, then we're going to rotate our palms and go back. You should feel that stretch in through here and down. That's one movement. So now let's pick up our weights, feet about hip distance apart. So first front raise, side raise, then supine, out. We're gonna do five of these. Front raise, side raise, turn your palms, and out. This is three. Turn and out. Okay, we're going to take a 30 second rest here. Getting your breath. We're going to go on to our next circuit and then we'll repeat the whole thing. 30 second rest is over. We're going to pick up our dumbbells and we're going to position them just slightly above our shoulders we're going to do an alternating press. So one, notice I'm going, I'm not going straight up, I'm going out a little bit. That's one. Two. Right and left equals one. Three. Four. And that is five. We're gonna get our breath for 30 seconds here again. And then we're going to the top of our workout with the front raise, side raise, and then back. And here we go. Hammer hand position, front raise, side raise, turn your hands, bend forward a little bit and out. So front raise, side raise, bend forward a little bit, turn your hands and out. Number three. Bend forward a little bit. Turn your hands and out. One more. Front raise. Side raise. Turn your hands a little bit and out. 30 second rest here. This is a great time to grab a sip of water if you need it. We're going to do our alternating shoulder presses to finish out our workout. Deep breath. It's important not to forget to breathe while you're doing these exercises. All right, dumbbells in position, alternating raises. One. Two, three, four. I'm noticing that I have to keep my core really tight to keep my lower body still. Four, and one more. 
and that is five. Bring your dumbbells down. We're gonna take another 30 seconds and then we're gonna do a cool down. Just as it's important to warm up our shoulders before we start our workout, it's very important to cool down our shoulders and the rest of our body after any workout or exercise. So we're gonna start by doing some shoulder rolls. We're gonna do 10, five to the back. to the front, shake it out, arms out to the side, we're going to do five small circles to the back, after we get five we're going to do circles enlarging each time around until you've got your full range of motion, and then do five. And back to our starting position, five to the front. And then start enlarging until you've got your full range of motion, and then do five. That go. Just swing your arms side to side. And left arm in front of you, right arm up behind. Cradle that shoulder and stretch. And hold. Bring it down, shake it out. Other side, stretch and hold. And shake it out. And there you have your shoulder-focused exercise that will increase your flexibility, increase your mobility in your shoulders, and increase the strength of your shoulders so that you can more safely move through the day picking things up and putting them away. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a request by several people actually to improve their shoulder health. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel because that allows me to bring you more good content like this that you, my subscribers, have requested. And drop me comments. I want to hear from you. If you don't have a suggestion, just let me know how you're doing. Let me know how you're enjoying the videos. Love to hear from you. And most importantly, see you next time online.